Today, we're going to be talking about Global Elements Manager. We recently updated GEM to version 2.0. Among the changes was support for multiple tags, additional filtering options, the return of column headers, and some additional warnings in place to ensure the links between your shows and GEM aren't compromised by users adding or deleting columns. It's critical that columns stay consistent. So let's start at the beginning. Global Elements Manager, or GEM, is a way for you to reuse elements across many different shows, retrieve those elements when building out new shows, and update any versions of a given element across all selected shows. Only team admins can use Global Elements, so talk to a team admin if you need your permissions upgraded. You can access GEM from the team dashboard by clicking on the Element Manager tab. There, you will see all existing element sets and all existing tags. This is also where you would create new element sets or tags and edit any existing ones. Think of an element set as a container for all of your saved elements. And though most of you will only need one element set, the option is there to create more. You would only need additional element sets if you had additional types of shows. For example, an organization that ran basketball and baseball games. Tags are colorful identifiers you can place on an element. Examples of tags are things like the time frame an element would exist in and the type of element it is. For example, a pre-game PA announcement. To see all of the elements in a given element set, click on its name. This brings you into the Global Elements Manager. This is where you'll see all the parent elements in the parent-child relationship of Global Elements. This page looks very similar to a traditional show file, but with a bright purple banner at the top to help avoid that confusion. Here, you can create new elements just as you would in a regular show. To apply tags to your element, click the tag icon at the far left of that element. Within the pop-up menu, select the tags you wish to apply. Tags are also handy when you're looking for a particular element. You can use the tag selector at the top to filter this view and only display elements with a chosen tag. Similarly, you can use a search to filter by element title. Working with Global Elements can also be done from within a show. If you would like to turn an existing element into a global one, click the cogwheel icon on the left and choose the Save as New Global Element option. This pops open a modal where you will select the element set and tag for that element. It is worth noting that this can also be done in bulk if you have several rows selected. Once the row or rows have been turned into a global element, you will notice a new globe icon on the far left. This is how you'll be able to identify global elements. That globe icon is also what you would use to push changes between the different instances of that element. You see, all global elements will exist independent of one another until you choose to synchronize the content. This means that you can make changes to one and it will not automatically change the others. Other instances will only change when you deliberately synchronize the content, and that is done by using the globe icon that appears to the left of the row. Your options are to 1. Retrieve changes from the parent and override the current element. 2. Override the parent with the version here in the show. And 3. Selectively update other instances of this element across any other shows and gem. If you'd like to retrieve a previously created global element and add it to the show, you would use the globe icon at the top right to open the insert modal. There, you would see the current show on the left and the current element set on the right. Use the search or tag filters to find the element you want, then drag and drop it onto the correct location on the left. On the right side pane, the purple numbers represent how many times that element exists in the selected show. On the left, you will see regular elements in black text and global elements in purple. If you accidentally added the wrong element, you can delete elements from the show by using the trash can icon. Repeat any of these processes as needed and enjoy Showflow's Global Elements Manager. I hope you found this tutorial video helpful. If you want to know more, continue to explore learn.showflow.tv and check out other helpful videos and articles. For questions, reach out to us by using the live chat, and as always, have a great show.